Now millions of Jehovah's Witnesses, they have one foot in the organization and they have one foot out. Uh, these ones are known as the conscious class. They're, 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 going, they're going into the kingdom hall, but they're conscious. They're awake. The ether mask is not on these ones. And they're awake and they're listening to what's going on. They don't believe it, but they are frightened to death to get out of the organization because of the fear that it puts on you. You could lose all your friends and relatives. So they're part of the conscious class. And I have to tell you, the elders in all the congregations, they know the conscious class exists. I seek it recorded, my disfellowshipping tape. And uh, it's amazing how many people have listened to that. But I, I cut out an old watchtower publication and I put a little digital recorder. In other words, I razor blade it out, put the recorder in the book, close the book back up and place it on the conference table where the, we had the committee meeting. And it played for three and a half hours. You can listen to it all online. And I have to tell you, it played for three and a half hours, and I call it the fly on the wall tape. And I could get back in there, and I heard exactly what they said, and the elders said, you know, Rick, in fact, they said that I was 90% correct with everything I was saying. And they said, he's even correct with this conscious class. He says, we know so many like that. And he says, you know, they're not going to identify themselves, but we know there's so many like that. So it's an amazing thing that uh, they recognize it, the higher-ups recognize it. See, they know why. What's happening is many kingdom halls are disappearing. Did you know that? You know, it, it kind of gives the appearance of tremendous growth. But there's many kingdom halls up in the area where I live, and I've checked out in other parts of the country. The official term the Watchtower is using is <clears throat> compressing. And they call it compressing. They don't say we just closed the kingdom hall. They say we compress the kingdom hall. Now, by definition, their definition, what they do is they, if you have a kingdom hall that doesn't have a lot of attendees, then you will close it down, sell out the building, and move the attendees over to another kingdom hall. In fact, a couple of kingdom halls within a 25-mile radius, 30-mile radius of where I live just did that within the last couple of years. They compressed. They basically went out of business and joined forces with another. But you never read about that. All we read about is the expansion. Don't believe it. So we also have uh, elders stepping down at record rates. Many are leaving altogether. They've had enough. And many, many times there's not, any, there's not a clue that an elder is just going to come in and throw the, the towel in. This is happening all over the place. They're scared to death. They're scared to death of what's going on with the child molestation. They're scared to death of all the things they have to hide. From the, from the publishers. And that's not all. There's more and more circuit overseers that are becoming very disgruntled. I talked to one not too long ago myself. As they get older, there's really, there's really nowhere for them to go. When the watchtower doesn't need them anymore, they just give them the boot. Now, some are fortunate enough to be able to maybe get one of these apartments they're building up there at Walk Hill. But a lot just uh, left basically penniless. They've given their whole life to the Watchtower organization, and now they're cut loose, and no wonder why they're disgruntled, but I'm going to tell you what's going to go on with the circuit overseers. Some probably heard it, but we'll go downstream a little bit and get to that. The, en the enthusiasm of the rank and file, it is, it is waning. The, the, the witnesses aren't as enthusiastic as they used to be. And you, when you were a witness back in the 70s and 80s, you were excited. Jehovah's Witnesses aren't excited today. In fact, where I live, I hardly even see a Jehovah's Witness. Probably the same thing in many of your areas. They'll spend a lot of time in a coffee shop, a lot of time in their, their book study group before they go out. They, they really, they're having no fun. They're having no enjoyment in the field ministry. Nobody's talking to them for the most part. Now it takes close, it takes close to 10,000 hours of aggressive proselytizing to bring just one Jehovah's Witness into the organization. Did you know that? It takes 10,000 aggressive hours. That means all this time that they put into the ministry, it takes that much time to bring in one person. That, that's a huge effort for one person, isn't it? Like the Titanic, the organization is sinking and it's going down. 
Some may think that the organization is too big. It's been around too long to go out, go out of business. Well, don't think that for one second. I, th I think everyone's been watching the news lately. All right, I mean, you turn on the financial news. Uh, what about some of these huge companies? What about some that have gone on in the recent years? How about Enron? Fifth largest company in America, gone a few years back. And look what's happening today. Look just within the last couple of months here, Lehman Brothers, large, huge investment banking company, gone. It's been around for 200 years, I think. So how is it that you can possibly think that it's impossible for the Watchtower to, to, to get out of business? It's, it's not impossible. Uh, just recently, we heard about Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, these also guarantees of mortgages, these guarantors of mortgages. They, they, they failed. The government bailed them out, but they would have been gone too. So let's not think that because the Watchtower is so huge and so big and the longevity is on their side, it's not. Let's examine some recent events inside the secret world of the Watchtower. We say the mass exodus has already begun and the society is extremely worried about the number of Jehovah's Witnesses leaving. More and more once loyal committed Jehovah's Witnesses are having doubts as we say and they're looking for the exit door. They're looking for the exit door out of the Kingdom Hall. The organization does not share with us, us crusaders of truth, it doesn't share with us how big this problem is. They want to hide it. They really don't want us to know. So we have to extract information. We have to extract intelligence the same way the CIA does. We have to dig. We have to research. And we have to research every particle of information available. And remarkably, many of, us have, many of us have active Jehovah's Witness moles, we call them, that are still in the organization, even some right at Bethel itself, that are willing to uh, share the current new light. <laughs> so they, they share this with us. So the question is, what is happening at the world headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses? A talk was given in the congregation just recently saying that in the last two years 10 out of 90 have become inactive. That does not count those that are just irregular. So close to 1 million witnesses have left according to these figures in the last two years. Approximately 1400 people a day are leaving the organization. Isn't that a good thing? Let's give a hand on my yes. Last year, the service report for 2007 showed 298,304 as being baptized. So the witnesses were bringing 800 people a day in the front door of the Kingdom Hall and there were 1,400 a day walking out the back door. So if you, if you run the numbers, we're winning. We're winning, we're on the scoreboard. We've got 1,400 leaving, we've got uh, 800 coming in, so we have 600 witnesses is what they're gaining per day. But they're losing, they're losing so many out the back door, and this, this hemorrhage is continuing, and it's getting worse. So according to the November 15th, 2008 Watchtower, we have it right here. Have you seen this one? This is the new study edition. Have you seen the new look of this? No. Now, you, now you, can't, you, can't, you can't get these. I, I, have a couple, I have a couple extra copies here. I, I told Jim I was going to give him some. But if I have some extras, I'm going to give whoever comes up and wants one if I have some left. You, you can't get these. These are new. This all happened within the last year. They have two editions. They have a public edition and they have a study edition. But if I told you where I got these magazines, you probably wouldn't believe me.